Hello, my name is Judy Monroe Layton, and I'm in Louisville, Kentucky, on the Great Lawn at the One Day Cemetery, our war memorial to the people of all countries who have died in this war. And as we look at 4,000 flags here, we make note of the fact it represents our American troops who have died. That's, this is the number of Iraqis who would die every 40 days in Iraq. This is seven times that number is the number of American injured. We have paid a tremendous price for this war, and we must remember that we have to be diligent in holding our country accountable before we begin a war. Thank you so much. My name's Harold Trainer. I'm a retired military officer and in, in Vietnam vet. And I'm here today to uh, remember the many that have died in Iraq, uh, those that have been wounded, and also the uh, many of Iraqis who have been killed uh, because of a policy uh, of our government and the President of the United States. I believe that uh, in order to honor the memory of these uh, men and women who have uh, died in the Iraq War, we need to bring our troops home soon and use other instruments of national power to affect uh, any required change and stabilization in Iraq in that region of, of the world. Uh, it is important that uh, uh, more and more people become aware of this and take action with our government to ensure that they respond to the will of the people. Uh, even now, there's an increasing percentage so that there is a significant majority of people who are against the war believe President Bush has not handled the war properly or well, and that we need to bring our troops home just as soon as possible. My name is Linda England. Uh, I'm here in front of, I'm here at the memorial for the uh, uh, soldiers who have died in Iraq. I'm here in Louisville. I'm standing at the site of the flag that we have designated for my son's best friend. My son is a soldier who was in Iraq in 2004 and uh, his best friend, uh, 21 years old from Pennsylvania, was killed in a battle standing right next to my son. And uh, I, I, I'm always very emotional about this particular young man because I feel like and if it wasn't for another 12 inches, it would have been my son. And I always feel a very close connection to this boy. And uh, I just called my son this morning. He's uh, at his base in Germany. And I told him what the uh, group was doing. And uh, he told me to say how much he appreciates what we've done. And I specifically told him about this little memorial for Henry. And um, he said, uh, uh, you know, he, he's very grateful and he wants uh, people to know that soldiers appreciate it. I want to say that America should be ashamed of what's happening in Iraq. And everybody needs to participate in bringing the troops home. It's the most abominable thing. We need to march in Washington. We need to make calls. We need to scream and yell. We need to get everyone involved. It's just the most horrific nightmare. Hello, my name is Mark McKinley. I join my neighbors down here on the waterfront to remember those who have fallen in this god-awful misadventure. We cannot be silent on this issue. We have to translate our anger into action. I'm here today, I'm sort of setting aside my outrage at this war to take some time to actually grieve. I think it's really important that we grieve the lost lives in this war, not only the lost lives represented by the 4,000 flags, also the loss of 150,000 to 600,000 Iraqis. I think that if we don't properly memorialize our dead, as many traditions say, we end up being haunted by them certainly haunted by the memories and our government's been terrible in, in, in prohibiting us from seeing the returning caskets of our dead soldiers so all we can do is find symbols you know t-shirts and boots and today it's these white flags that represent the death of at least one soldier so I'm here trying to suppress my outrage and get into my grief and try to remember the, the, the miserable senseless loss of life.